there appears an address at the top of this exhibit. Just next to sites, there appears an address. Just put that address on record right at the top. Kutlanong Street, Fosloris. The number, the street number. 13511, Kutlanong Street. Thank you. And it's described as what in that document? Um, in brackets, it states crime scene. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We can then get back to your affidavit, Exhibit Triple P. You had just placed a trip lock at the time 18.58 and 34 seconds. Can you then proceed to the next entry? The next entry, uh, 1900 hours and 14 seconds. It shows ignition on Kutwanong Street for Slurus. Yes, next entry. Then the next entry shows ignition off 1901-28 Kutlanong Street for Slurus Gauteng. Next entry shows motion, ignition off, GPS unlock 2043-34 at Kutlanong Street for Slurus Gauteng. Next entry. Next entry, vehicle shows ignition off at 2043-44 at Kutlanong Street for Slurus Gauteng. Next entry, the vehicle shows ignition on at 2046 and 13 seconds, it shows ignition on Kutwanong Street for Slurus Gauteng. Next entry, the vehicle shows moving at 2046-31 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus Gauteng. Next entry, vehicle shows moving at 2046-40 at Lesading Street for Slurus Gauteng, South Africa. Next entry, vehicle shows moving 2046-54 at Moahi Street. Thank you. Just remember to place the speed at which the vehicle is moving on record as well. Next entry, the vehicle shows moving at a speed of 24 kilometers an hour at 2049.00 at Moahi Street, Sprite View, Katloong. Next entry, the vehicle shows moving at 28 kilometers an hour at Lesading Street, Fosloris at 2049 and 30 seconds. Yes, Next entry, the vehicle shows moving at 24 kilometers an hour at 20.49 and 41 seconds at Kutwanong Street, Fosloris. In other words, the vehicle returns to that original address that you placed on record earlier on at 18.57. That's correct. I was even the coward of the day because I actually ran out as those uh, gunmen actually came in uh, uh, and requested phones and, and money from us. Uh, I was actually the first to stand up to try and protect uh, uh, everyone. Not not realizing that the other guy was uh, also had a gun and pointed a gun at me and I actually ran out the door after that, uh, after he, he pointed a gun at me in self-defense. Hmm. From then, I was outside. Uh, I wanted to go uh, get help, hmm. uh, but it was later. Uh, neighbors and everyone was sleeping. I didn't even have my phone because I left it at the house so I couldn't call the cops. So then uh, a, a, a fight broke loose inside because obviously uh, Senza was protecting Kelly because the guys were man handling Kelly, requesting uh, money and stuff from her. And then uh, a fight broke loose. Basically, U Senza was protecting everyone and he fought the guys. Everyone in the house fought as I was outside. Uh, uh, and then that's when uh, uh, the guys actually uh, um, released the gunshots and the intention I think was also not to kill Senzo but they were protecting themselves because Senzo was overpowering them as he's a strong goalkeeper and was actually beating them and that's when uh, 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 the, the, the bullets actually went in from the back and then and, and killed Senzo. Two things. I, I Since the state won't bring a long way toilet to the stand, I said, you know what, let's go back and listen to the one of the few times that Ulongwe Twala has spoken about this. And you know what, I blame those radio interviewers for letting Ulongwe Twala just talk on and on and on because they just sat there and kept quiet and Longwe went on and on and on. But he says some pretty interesting stuff and I've never heard it in this manner. So after listening to, of course, tracker lady turned policewoman, um, go ahead and talk about how um, Longwetola's movement started at the crime scene 
and then he's driving and the ignition is on and off but he's moving but then suddenly he is right back at the crime scene and then if you look at the time he started from 1857 and 29 seconds and then at 2049 yeah 2049 and 41 seconds <gasps> to me it says um jolo uyanyisa why did he go back did he leave upset and then went back because he was so angry? He was so angry. Is this an on goal for the defense? I don't know. Go back, rewind it, okay? Listen to what Longwe says and then compare it to the timestamps that tracker lady just put to the record. This is crazy to me. Oh my God. I think we've cracked the code. I think we've cracked the case. If you listen to what he says, he speaks on behalf of the shooter. Is he the shooter? I don't know. But he speaks on behalf of the shooter and he says, I actually ran, I actually ran out of the house, but he pointed the gun at me in self-defense. So he's saying the gunman, why is he giving the gunman an alibi? So he's saying that the intruder, okay, in quotations, pointed the gun at him, but it was just in self-defense. And then the next thing he says, he says he was outside and it was late at night and the neighbors were sleeping. Tell me something. People in Vosloras, they go to bed at 8 p.m. Is that true? And then the next thing he says is, I didn't have my phone. I left it in the house, so I couldn't call the cops. And then he says, a fight broke inside. Basically, Usenzo was protecting everyone and he fought the guys. But I was outside, so how does he know that? And then he says, this is it. This is the line. The intention was not to kill Senzo, but they were protecting themselves. Did you hear that? On behalf of the gunman, Longwe Twala says the intention was not to kill Senzo, but they were protecting themselves. How would you know that if you were outside running for your life? And then the bullet went in from the back. This is, this is, this is why Longwe won't come to the stand. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on that. But we might have cracked it, allegedly. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. 26 kilometers an hour. Uh, 20, 50, 150, uh, Kutlo, Long Street, Fosloras. Not a day, but I 26 kilometers per hour. And it's got 20, 51, and 50 seconds. It's a one on Kutlo, Long Street. Yes. If I can ask you to first start on the, with the time and then move to, start on the left and move to the right, just to make it easier to follow. Yes. At 20, 52, 01. At Lesedim Street, Vosloeris, vehicle is moving at 20 kilometers an hour. At 20.52.34, at Lesedim Street, Vosloeris, vehicle is moving at 20 kilometers an hour. At 20.55.34, at Bella Drive, Vosloeris, vehicle is moving at 69 kilometers an hour. At 20.57.30, at Sam Sukwati Avenue, Vosloeris, vehicle is moving at 24 kilometers an hour. At 2057.33, at Sam Sukwati Avenue, Fosloris, vehicle is moving at 13 kilometers an hour. At 2057.50, at Sam Sukwati Avenue, Fosloris, vehicle shows moving at 15 kilometers an hour. At 2058.02, at Sam Sukwati Avenue, Fosloris, Gauteng, the vehicle shows ignition off. I just want to show you an extract of the section 205 of the cell phone number that I've just placed on record earlier on. It's page my lot, page 4632 of exhibit triple J1. If you can just place those particulars on, on, on record again. There the asterisk. The number will be 27608040436. Date shows 26 October 24 and the time will be 2059.25. And then under cell name it gives 3G Clinics for Sluerus. If I can then refer you back to exhibit triple J7 in brackets A, 
the, uh, the address of the different towers are reflected. If you can just place the address of the tower clinics on, on record. There where the SOP. Let's just read out the tower name. Uh, the tower name will be uh, Fosferes. No, 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 there where is it? The street? Fosferes Square? No, Clinics. Clinics. Yes. Okay, the site name is Clinics. Yes. And then the physical address of site will be 9 Sam Supporti Avenue, Marimba Gardens, Fosferes. Thank you. You can um, then proceed. So this address, Sam Supporti Avenue, that is where the tower clinics is located, would that be correct? That's correct. Sorry. Yes, you can place the next entry on record. At 210409, at Sam Supporti Avenue, the vehicle shows motion, ignition off. Once again, I'm going to refer you to the extract of the section 205, which have been handed in as exhibit triple J in bracket one through Miss Pinky Fire Thillingham. That will be my lord page 2186 of exhibit triple J1. If you can just place this particulars on record. Just the cell phone number, the second asterisk, the cell phone number, as well as the the date and time and the tower name. The cell phone number will be 27608040436. The date will be 26 October 2014. The time will be 210537. Third party. No, no, just, just place the, 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 cell, the tower name. The cell name will be 3G Clinics for Slurres. The time that it just plays on record, how does it compare with the time that's reflected in, in the trip lock, the one that you just placed on record? The time on the trip lock will be 21.04.09, and then the time on the evidence will be 21.05.37. At 23.02.58, at Sam Supporti Avenue for Slurus, the vehicle states ignition on, GPS unlock. Next entry at 23.03.04, at Sam Supporti Avenue for Slurus, Gauteng, the vehicle shows stop, GPS unlock. Next entry, yeah, at, you can just proceed and put all those entries on record. At 23.03.12, at Sam Supporti Avenue for Slurus, vehicle shows stopped. At 23.06.12, at Sam Supporti Avenue, for Lourdes, vehicle shows stopped. At 23.09.12, at Sam Supporti Avenue, for Lourdes, vehicle shows stopped. At 23.12.12, at Sam Supporti Avenue, for Lourdes, vehicle shows stopped. At 23.12.16, at Sam Supporti Avenue, for Lourdes, vehicle shows moving at 22 kilometers an hour. At 23.15.16, at Nombela Drive, Fosloris, vehicle shows moving at 50 km an hour. At 23.18.16, at Nombela Drive, Fosloris, vehicle shows moving at 33 km an hour. At 23.19.38, at Mohagi Street, Fosloris, vehicle shows moving at 24 km an hour. At 23.20.02, at Lesseding Street, Fosloris, Vehicle shows moving at 17 kilometers an hour. At 232210, at Kutranong Street, Fosfores, vehicle shows ignition off. And Kutranong Street is the address that you earlier place on record in terms of exhibit triple J7A as the crime scene. That's is that correct. correct. Next entry. At 235542, at Kutranong Street, Fosfores, vehicle shows ignition on. GPS unlock. 2358, 235, 48, at Kutwa Street, Fosloris, vehicle shows stop. At 2355, 50, at Kutwa Street, Fosloris, vehicle shows stop. 
At 23.55.59 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows ignition off. At 00.17.09 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows motion, ignition off, GPS unlock. At 00.17.15 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows ignition off. At 00.21.17 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows motion, ignition off. At 00.21.22 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows ignition on. You just place the date on record. The date will be 2014, 10.27. And starting with the trip number 79 at 00.17.09, what is the date? The date will be 2014, 10.27. Thank you. You can proceed. At 00.21.26 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows stop. At 00.21.27, at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows stopped. At 00.22.27, at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows ignition off. At 02.15.45, at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle indicates motion, ignition off, GPS unlock. At 02.15.50, at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows ignition on. At 02.15.53 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows stop. At 02.15.58 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle indicates stop. At 02.16.05 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows ignition off. At 02.16.52 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows ignition on. At 02.19.00. 36 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows ignition off. At 02.19.59 at Kutwanong Street for Slurus, vehicle shows ignition on. At 02.21.16 at Moahi Street for Slurus, vehicle shows moving at 20 km an hour. In other words, the vehicle is moving away from Kutwanong Street, which, as you read out, the, it's described as a crime scene. That's correct. But you have Entries that follow there under are not of much importance. If I can ask you to turn to page 50. At 0238, 11 seconds. If you can just place those entries from that time. At 02.38.11, at Grasvoel Crescent, Liefde and Vrede Johannesburg Gauteng, vehicle shows moving. At 02.40.45, at Grasvoel Crescent, Liefde and Vrede Johannesburg, vehicle shows moving at 13 km an hour. At 02.41.03, at Grasvoel Crescent, Liefde and Vrede Johannesburg, the vehicle shows moving 13 km an hour. It's uh, 41 minutes past 2. Grasvoel Crescent, Liefde and Vrede Johannesburg, what do you think about 13 km per hour? At 02.41.37, at Grasvoel Crescent, Left and Vrede, Johannesburg, the vehicle shows ignition off. I just want to show you at this stage a certification of death by Dr. Mchekwani at Jibutsilong Hospital, which serves as Exhibit G before this court. If you can just place the details there, starting with patient brought in by, there's a name there, just place it on record. In by name, it shows Miss Kai. Kumalu plus relatives. And her address? Address states 55 Logan's View, Grasfuel. Now, this Grasfuel that appears on Exhibit J, how does it compare with the address Grasfuel Crescent that appears on the trip lock? It's the same. Let me proceed. At 02.42.30, at Grasfuel Crescent, Left and Frederick Johannesburg, vehicle shows ignition on. At 02.42.31, at Grasvoel Crescent, Left and Freire, Johannesburg, vehicle shows ignition off. At 03.49.20, at Grasvoel Crescent, Left and Freire, Johannesburg, vehicle shows motion, ignition off, GPS unlock. At 03.49.21, at Grasvoel Crescent, Left and Freire, Johannesburg, vehicle shows ignition on, GPS unlock. At 03.49.23, at Grasvoel Crescent, Left and Vrede, Johannesburg, 
Vehicle shows stopped. At 03.49.29 at Grasvol Crescent, Liefde and Freire, Johannesburg, the vehicle show stopped. At 03.49.37 at Grasvol Crescent, Liefde and Freire, Johannesburg, the vehicle shows moving at 17 kilometers an hour. At 03.49.39 at Grasvol Crescent, Liefde and Freire, Johannesburg, the vehicle shows moving at 17 kilometers an hour. At 03.52.39 at Grasvol Crescent, Liefde and Freire, Johannesburg, the vehicle shows stopped. At 03.55.38, at Grasvol Crescent, Liefde and Freire, Johannesburg, the vehicle shows moving at 20 kilometers an hour. In other words, the, the, the vehicle is now leaving the, the address, Grasvol Crescent. That's correct. So how long was this vehicle at that address? The vehicle went ignition off at Grasvol Crescent at 02.41.37. And then it went ignition on at 03.49.21. So it would be just over an hour. What? At 03.52.39 seconds, it shows stop. When the previous status showed that the vehicle was moving. And just after that entry, where it shows stop, starts moving. What is a possible explanation for that? If it's inside of a complex, most complexes have boom gates, um, security officers at the entry. So it could possibly, the vehicle stop this, so it could possibly be at the entry exit of the, the complex. Now, the, the next uh, series of entries are not really of much importance. If you can go to the entry at 040321 on the 27th of October 2014. At 040321. At Helderberg Place, Glen Vista, Johannesburg, the vehicle shows ignition off. Now, this is the address that you placed on record earlier on when you were reading the RICA information. As the address in its name, the cell phone that you've placed on record was RICA. Is that correct? That's correct. Right. Yes, next entry. Next entry, 040710 at Helderberg Place, Glen Vista, Johannesburg, the vehicle shows motion, ignition off. At 040711 at Helderberg Place, Glen Vista, Johannesburg, the vehicle shows ignition on. At 040728 at Helderberg Place, Glen Vista, Johannesburg, the vehicle shows ignition off. As a good business, will this be an appropriate time to take the usual sort of journey? Okay. 1119. Okay, thanks. Yeah. 15 minutes will be back. All right. I, for one, cannot believe I sat down and wrote down each and every one of those entries. Um, but I did it so that you don't have to. And then and now, after writing it down, I'm looking at the pattern. And this is the summary of all that. Literally, Longwe arrived at the Spaza house at 1857.29. Okay, okay. And then he left the Spaza house at... Uh, 20 46 13 so he was at the spaza house for about two hours that is after he sent uzandi okay the text message that says i'm outside so from text message saying i'm outside he was at the spaza house for two hours okay and then he left he left but then he drove off and then he kind of came back but he didn't stop he returned and he returned like three minutes later but he didn't stop and then they arrived the polo arrived okay the polo arrived um, at Sam Sequati at 2057 33 and was there for about two hours. I'm assuming that's at the hospital. So they were at the hospital for about two hours. And then after that, this is where for me it gets really, really strange. The red polo, okay? Because we don't know who was driving the red polo. The red polo returned to the Spaza house and was at the Spaza house for a good three hours. They arrived at the Spaza house at 23, 22.10 and stayed there and left at around 2 a.m. in the morning. After the, the red polo left, it left to go to Kelly Kumalo's house. Was the red polo driving Kelly Kumalo to her house and dropping her off? Yes or no? No. Because we know Kelly Kumalo held on tight to uh, Senzo Meyua's gray BMW X5, I think it is. And um, so then the red polo stayed at Kelly Kumalo's house for about an hour. And then long way, well, the red polo went home, which is literally about four minutes away. Away from Kelly Kumalo's house the red polo went home and then when it was home there's ignition off ignition on again 
so we will continue in the next video because they then take a short adjournment and then they come back so we'll continue from there so from this has long a been shot is long a the driver of the red polo because this is the activity of the red polo so we know the red polo arrived at the spaza house went to the hospital went to kelly kumalo's house and went to longway's house was longway in the car in each of these incidences we don't we don't know we don't know if only the car could talk but this is the story so far let me know your thoughts so far i definitely want to hear what you think i'll do a separate full video on my theory later when i'm done with all these timelines all right thanks for watching you know the house rules and let's get into it but we want to just hear from you mm. what actually happened on that day basically um what happened i could say was a robbery gone wrong uh were guys. you in the house i was in the house when those two, when those two guys I thanks so much for watching if you've made it this far in the video please remember to like comment and subscribe and absolutely share this video with the last three people you chatted with on whatsapp if you've watched all the ads you absolutely have my heart you're my vip gang gang and to become a channel member okay to have exclusive access to our defense team emojis plus 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 is definitely by hitting that join button okay and I promise not to rob you. It is absolutely affordable. And there's going to be um, some extra content that I'm going to be doing today. So please make sure your notification bell is turned on. If you're watching us from outside the club, please consider subscribing so that you also get the notifications on my next upload to all the sweet, beautiful messages I get. Comments. Okay. I see your comments. I love them. Thank you for encouraging me. Some people say they cannot sleep without an upload. Some people say they're addicted to my voice. Oh my God. Should I start singing happy birthday on your birthdays? Should I make that a member's benefit? Let me know in the comment section and down below. To my shy gang, you two count on this channel. Make sure you drop a soccer emoji in the comment section down below as we're here together gathered for justice for Osenzo Mayua. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on my next upload. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on my next upload.